Well, I mean, I'm glad we got through, uh, you know, everybody getting here safely and, and getting through last night, um, you know, getting your bearings around Nashville, our kids getting to go and experience. Uh, it's a great town. And, uh, yeah, as a coach, you always just, just worry that, uh, that something could go wrong with the travel and, and then with uh, just uh, the night that we had that was kind of free for everybody to enjoy. I'm big on that. I think everybody, including our families, uh, should enjoy these trips. And so that was pretty much yesterday. And now today we, we got to get back to trying to figure out how to beat a Maryland team and having a good practice. And we had good meetings this morning and uh, like like our, our kids' attention. Obviously, we've got to play some young kids, particularly in the secondary, um, with ours moving on to, to the NFL and other things. But um, excited to kind of see how they, they perform in this. And uh, it's a really quality team we're playing. Coach Loxley's done a, a really nice job. but. Kind of anxious to see how we practice today, and hopefully we have good energy and um, and, and good execution both. On the subject the of that, the business mindset, sort of for this game, how do you? How important is that to you when you're talking about flipping the script, and everything you're doing yeah. to to win the bowl game and, and keep that mindset? It's important to me, uh, I, and I think they sense that. I uh, now I do think there's a balance, and uh, we've been pretty pretty successful in the bowl games that I've coached in, and um, and that balance has worked. Uh, I hope that that continues. This is a little new experience, truthfully, for me. With um, I've never had, you know, the opt outs, and and um, I've never dealt with that before. So that was kind of new. So you are, you know, you're not quite the same team that finished the year, uh, personnel wise. But that's in some ways that's kind of exciting for kicking off the next year. You know, we're not in the playoffs this year, so um, you really can look at it like, you know, an extra game for these these young kids that we're going to depend upon. But um, I think anytime we put Auburn on our jersey, it's important that we go compete in, in a way. And we haven't been as consistent in that in year one that, that uh, I wanted to be. At times, we were really good. And I hope that uh, we can finish this this 23 campaign here in Nashville with, with that kind of effort and execution and, and get a win for, for Auburn, for our team, for our fans, for the SEC, everything that goes into these bowl games. Obviously, Maryland doesn't have their starting quarterback. You opted out of this game. So how much of an advantage do you think it could be for y'all that y'all have Peyton back there and you have a very experienced quarterback who's played in bowl games before? Yeah, I mean, we're glad we got Peyton back. I mean, their, their backup has, has – taken some good snaps and done well with that. And I'm sure that he's had all the practices leading up to this. He's got some really good receivers and running backs around him. So uh, I'm not sure if, if it's a huge advantage or not. We've got to play well and Peyton's got to play well. And then the pieces around Peyton have to play well. And, you know, we've lost a few of those two within a receiver. And it'll be interesting to, to see how we perform with that. But uh, again, excited that we do have Peyton there to uh, that has the experience of playing in these bowl games. On the point of the helmet communications, I guess I know you guys are not using that, you're using tablets instead. Why go that route and do you want to see helmet communications? Um, all right, there's a lot to unpack there. Let's say let's let's let's, 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 let's we'll, we'll take the tablets. Uh, so we are we are partaking and using the tablets. Uh, I'm curious to see how that that how that goes on the sideline. Obviously, it's uh, it's not something that we're going to uh, get to practice with uh, really until the game, and so that's always awkward for me to feel like great about. Um, a plan to, to go over and do that, but uh, it'll be interesting. I'm sure Peyton can, um, you know, I'll probably be, it'll be difficult for me to utilize because I'm probably, you know, I'm flipping back and forth between offense and defense and paying attention to the situations. But um, our coaches on the sideline will uh, will hopefully be able to see things in it that I do, I do hope that that is something that's coming for sure. And I, I don't know why anyone would be against that unless it's a, a cost issue for, for certain conferences. Um, the helmet is a whole different deal. I, I get so many, this is kind of a, a, an above me discussion. Truthfully, um, the idea alone with uh, us being able to communicate with our quarterback, I like. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's something that would help with some of the signal issues that we're having. And, and obviously everybody's trying to pick off your signals during games. and. It's just part of, of the games that we're doing. So I do think that could help. Um, however, the stuff that's above me is, does it affect the safety of the helmets? And is your helmet? And then what does the SEC want to do as, as a whole from a conference on, on who they want to go with if we should move in that direction? And 
you know, it was just a lot of things in a short amount of time to try to process. And I said, look, I, I'm i okay. We, we, we've signaled now for, for 12 games. So I think we'll be okay for a bowl game. Doesn't bother me at all if, if Maryland chooses to do that. It just, it just felt like an, an awful lot of conversations were having to be had. And I was in the middle of recruiting and trying to get ready for a bowl game. And I didn't want to meet with these different manufacturers and I just said it's just not that important to me for a bowl game whether you know so yeah. uh, I said he'd been a little under the weather how important we, does that, we, make, that make these couple of days here yeah we've had uh, we've had a run of sickness and um, uh, we, we actually left the two guys at the hotel today too so it's uh, we had a run though last week of, uh, of guys missing practice with these uh, flu-like symptoms so uh, he seems to be feeling good but it was really good to get outside and let him have Hopefully today and tomorrow. I hadn't seen the weather for tomorrow, but this this is a good day for him to have a good practice for sure because he, he did miss uh, shoot last week, I think every day but one, I believe. Coach, uh, defensively, one of the um, one of the best defenses in the Big Ten is Maryland. So how will you and your offense find a way to find success against that front seven? Yeah, I think they're uh, very talented. They're um, – uh, they, you, you look some of the biggest games they played against the, the top echelon and elite teams in that conference, and they they played really, really well. Uh, I think it's a great test for us, but we faced some pretty good ones, you know, in our conference too that we were able to run the football. I think it starts there. Um, let's find a way to run the football, and, uh, and so that we can stay balanced.